And out some quite interesting facts later, Stephen Fry goes exploring for QI tonight at 10. But now BBC Two is looking for Mastermind's champion of champions as past winners return to the big black chair. Tonight, four former Mastermind champions face each other for the first time. First, Richard Sturch, mastermind champion in 1996, answers questions on the European monarch without a throne. Andy Page, the 2003 champion on an award-winning American comedy series. Nancy Dickman, mastermind champion in 2008 on the first man to reach the South Pole. And David Edwards, champion in 1990 on a French village with a mysterious history. Four former winners, two rounds of questions, one aim, to become the mastermind champion of champions. Welcome to Mastermind Champion of Champions with me, John Humphreys. This week, we're looking for the ultimate Mastermind Champion as 16 former winners from across five decades battle it out for this once-in-a-lifetime title. Tonight, we have champions from the 90s and the noughties. As usual, they will each be quizzed on their specialist subject and on general knowledge, all under the pressure of the clock. Two minutes on each. Those are the rules. Let's get on with it and ask our first former champion to join us, please. And your name is? Richard Sturch. Your occupation? I'm a retired clergyman. And your specialist subject? King Michael of Romania. I'd like to present the Mastermind Trophy of 1996 to Richard Sturch. I won in 1996 with the operas of Gilbert and Sullivan as my subject. I originally applied to Mastermind because it seemed to me that on the television and media generally, the, the clergy were getting rather a bad press. They were normally presented as fatheads of one kind or another. But actually, we are rather a bright and well-informed lot, and I thought perhaps I ought to try and inform people about this. Well, three other clergymen seem to have had much the same idea. Somebody in, in the BBC decided to put us all in the same heat, and originally to time it to go out on Easter Sunday, but they changed their mind about that, I'm afraid. King Michael of Romania, two minutes starting now. What's the name of the chalet above Sinai where Michael was born in 1921? For sure. Correct. Michael became heir to the throne in 1926 after his father, Crown Prince Carol, exiled himself with which of his mistresses? Lupescu. Yes. Who was appointed Prime Minister immediately after Michael's coup d'etat of 1944? Savarescu. Savar Sanatescu. According to Porter's biography, what reason did the communist Anna Pauka give for why Michael could not get married? It would be too expensive. Yes. In 1941, the fascist movement, the Iron Guard, was discredited when the Germans failed to support its armed revolt against which dictator? Antonescu. Correct. Michael met his future wife, Princess Anne of Bourbon-Palmer, when he was in London for what event of November 1947? The marriage of Princess Elizabeth and Duke of Edinburgh. Yes. What was the surname of Jacques, Michael's trusted aide-de-camp from March 1941? Fergotti. Correct. Relations between Antonescu and the royal family deteriorated rapidly after Romanian troops crossed which river into Russia in 1941? 41. Nipa. No, Denista. What was the name of the German minister in Bucharest who committed suicide when the Russians entered the capital after Michael's coup? Von Killinger. Corrected. Which palace did Michael and his family stay on their 1997 visit to Romania? He now has the right to live there when in Bucharest. Elisabetta. Yes, what was the name of Michael's half-brother who became a pretender to the throne? Mircea Lambrino. Correct. Who was the Romanian prime minister when Michael tried to visit the country at Christmas 1990? Roman. Yes, what prestigious Soviet award was bestowed on Michael in recognition of his bravery during the coup? The Order of Victory. Yes, Petru Grossa, whom the Russians forced Michael to appoint as Prime Minister in 1945, was the leader of which party? Plowman's Front. Yes, in November 1995, Michael was refused permission to attend the funeral of which political figure? Pass. 
Under whose presidency did Michael finally have his citizenship restored in 1997? Constantin Escu. Correct, according to Porter's biography. Which British politician with General Smuts advised Michael to return to Romania after the 47 royal wedding? Churchill. Yes, Michael was officially invited to London, and I've started to I'll finish in May 95 to attend the 50th anniversary celebrations of what occasion? VE Day. Is correct. One pass. He was refused permission to attend the funeral of Koposu. You have, though, Richard Sturch, 15 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Andy Page. Your occupation? Civil servant. And your specialist subject? The television series Arrested Development. Congratulations. I was really, really impressed. You very much so kind. I was Mastermind Champion in 2003, answering questions on golf in the final, and I was the first champion of the John Humphreys era. For me, being a Mastermind Champion was genuinely the realisation of a lifetime's ambition. I watched the programme from being 10 years old when it first started, and I first applied when I was in my 20s, so I didn't actually get on until I was 40. So actually to go ahead and win it was just fantastic. My first experience of the Mastermind Chair was pretty much what you might expect, quite intimidating, but once you actually realise that you're there to answer questions, it actually concentrates your mind marvellously, and the studio could have caught fire and I'd have still been there answering questions. Arrested Development in two minutes starting now. Who created Arrested Development is also credited as writer and executive producer. Mitchell Hurwitz. Correct. Although mostly filmed in Culver City, the series is set in Newport Beach, California, and on which nearby artificial island? Uh, Balboa. Yes. In staff infection, George Sr. is threatened by another inmate with a metal pipe. What's George done to upset him? Pass. Who guest stars in Sword of Destiny as Tony Wonder, a magician who wants Job and Buster to be in his DVD? Ben Stiller. Yes, in Forget Me Now, Buster's been given a medal by the army. What does his mother, Lucille Bluth, say was probably the reason for this? Pass. Who won a Golden Globe Award in 2005 for his portrayal of Michael Bluth? Jason Bateman. Correct. What's the title of the first of the three episodes in which Carl Weathers appears as himself? Pass. In the second series, George Michael runs for student body president, who wins with 97% of the vote after the favourite, Steve Holt, pulls out. The Indian boy's name, I can't remember, Ravi. What is the name of the Blue family's long-serving attorney, played by Henry Winkler? Barry Zuckercorn. Correct. At what event does Job fire all of the company's employees after they make fun of his constant boasting about his expensive suits? The Christmas party. Yes, who's the uncredited narrator of the series and also one of its executive producers? Ron Howard. Yes, in the first season episode, Shock and Awe, George Michael has a crush on his new teacher, Beth Bailey. What subject does she teach him? Ethics. Yes, who plays Rita, Michael's dim British girlfriend, whom he plans to marry so she can get a green card. Charlie Stevon. Yes, what's the name of the ship on which George Senior has his retirement party? The party ends with his arrest by the Security and Exchange Commission. Marina Hornblower. Yes, in the episode In God We Trust, which country is referred to as being in South America and Spanish speaking? Portugal. Yes, Michael becomes convinced that the N. Bluth on the witness list at his father's trial is his long lost sister. What does he think her first name is? Nelly. Yes, in Stormy the Castle, what does Maybe do to try? and annoy her mother. Her father does the same thing to get closer to maybe. Um, pass. What's the name of Job's girlfriend in the first series? She's a Spanish-language soap star played by Leonor Varela. Marta. Yes, in The Ocean Walker, Rita gives Michael the idea for a town built on top of the ocean. According to Michael, what is the name for the planned town? Bluthton. Yes, which Spanish word does Marta use that Michael thinks is the name of the man she has feelings for? He later discovered it means brother. Hermano. Is correct. You had five passes. They annoy their mother by wearing leather clothes, apparently. Uh, in the second series... It was Rav Nadir, that was the bit. You knew it was Indian, you no. knew it was Rav, you couldn't get the Nadir bit. The title of the first of the three episodes in which Carl Weathers appears as himself is Public Relations. Buster was given a medal because apparently a seal bit off his hand. That's correct. And in Staff Infection, George Senior is threatened by another inmate because he converted others to Judaism. Okay. Five passes altogether, and he paid you to have 15 points. Former champion, please. And your name is? Nancy Dickman. Your occupation? Publisher. And your specialist subject? The life and career of Roald Amundsen.
I got a bit of press attention after Mastermind, probably because I was the first woman to win in 12 years. So that was a bit of a, an exciting whirlwind. When I first did Mastermind, I had a four week old baby. And now that I'm doing Champion of Champions, I have a second baby who's three weeks old. So obviously my family planning and my quiz shows are very much in sync. I'm really nervous about Champion of Champions because obviously the competition is going to be incredibly tough. I mean, it's it's not easy to win Mastermind and the people who have done it are obviously got great quiz credentials and they probably had a bit more sleep than I did last night. So we'll see how it goes. Roald Amundsen, two minutes starting now. As a teenager, Amundsen was inspired by the writings and life of which British explorer of the Northwest Passage? Franklin. Correct. What did he initially agree to study at university to please his mother? Medicine. Yes, Amundsen first set foot on Antarctica in 1898 while he was serving on board which ship as an officer? Belgica. Correct. When he saw a San Francisco whaler on the 26th of August 1905, he knew he'd be the first to successfully navigate the Northwest Passage. What was the name of the whaler? Uh, Charles Hansen. Yes, at which harbour in Antarctica did members of Scott's Terra Nova expedition meet up with Amundsen's party? Uh, Bay of Wales. Yes, what physical defect, had it been detected, would have prevented him from carrying out his military service? Short-sightedness. Yes, mats made from what material protected the sides of the Belgica when it finally broke free of the ice? Uh, wool. Penguin skins. Amundsen nearly died in January 1896 in a two-man winter expedition to cross which Norwegian plateau? Hardangavira. Correct. In his autobiography, My Life as an Explorer, he describes exploration as looking for facts about the unknown. What does he say is, in contrast, merely a bit of bad planning? Adventure. Yes. At which Hamburg institution did he enrol in September 1900 to study magnetic science? Deutsche Seewarte. Correct. What was the name of the watchdog on the Maud Amundsen? Says that he was the cause of his broken arm, but also saved his life by distracting an attacking polar bear. Lassie. Uh, Jacob, near which Alaskan town did the airship Norga land after crossing the Arctic in 72 hours? Teller. Yes, before becoming involved with Kiss, Bennett Amundsen had fallen in love with the wife of a lawyer. What was her name? Sigrid Kasper. Yes, from which Eskimo people did he learn Arctic survival skills while his ship, the Yoa, wintered in the Northwest Passage? Netflix. Yes, at the end of his speech at the Royal Geographical Society in 1912, Lord Curzon's toast proposed three cheers for what? The dogs. Yes, what was the name of the crew member of the Belgica who would not eat penguin and seal meat? He died from Scurby on the 5th of June 1898. Emil Donker. Yes, in June 1928, Amazon disappeared while on a rescue mission for the missing airship Italia. What make of plane was he flying in at the time? A Latham 47. Yes, who acted as the technician on the sledges and skis on the successful expedition to the South Pole and went on to open a ski factory? Olaf Jarland. Yes, from which shipbuilder? I'll finish the question. In Asker, did he order the Maud for the purpose of sailing the Northeast Passage? Colin Archer? No, Christian Jensen. No passes, Nancy Dickman? 16 points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? David Edwards. Your occupation? Retired teacher. And your specialist subject? Is the mystery of Rennes-le-Chateau. Ladies and gentlemen, David Edwards. I won Mastermind, the series, in 1990. My subject in the final was the life and works of the physicist James Clark Maxwell. I was lucky enough to have a big win on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire about 10 years afterwards. I think Mastermind probably set me in quite good stead for the, the pressure of millionaire in that I was used to answering questions under lights in a studio under pressure, but um, they're, they're very, very different challenges. The mystery of Rennes-le-Chateau, two minutes starting now. The village of Rennes-le-Chateau at the centre of the mystery fiction lies in Dan Brown's novel The Da Vinci Code is in which département of southwest France? Old. Yes, a carving of which figure supports the holy water soup in the church of St Mary Magdalene in the village? The devil has modius. Yes, according to several writers, the parish priest Béranger Saunier visited Paris in the 1890s and while there bought a portrait of which pope? Uh, Celestine V. Yes, what Latin inscription is directly above the door of the church in Rennes-le-Chateau? Um, Terribilis est locus iste. Yes, in his journal on the 21st of September 1891, Saunier noted that he had discovered what? A tomb. Yes, the Perfecti or Perfects were an elite group of which heretical Christian sect? 
Qatar. Yes, what name is given to the mountain about five kilometers from the village identified in the Tomb of God as the location of the secret of Rennes le Chateau? Peshkadu. Yes, which scrolls found in Egypt in 1945 were essentially Gnostic in character? Nag Hammadi. Yes, according to the author Gerard de Said, what was the name of the priest who, after hearing Sonnier's deathbed confession, refused to give him absolution, apparently never smiled again? Rivière. Yes, Sonnier's friend, Antoine Gailly, who was murdered in 1897, was the curé of which neighboring parish? Custosa. Yes, which Merovingian king reputedly married? for the second time in 671 in a church on the site of St. Mary Magdalene. Dagobert de. Yes, what is the inscription the shepherds are pointing to in Le Pege d'Acadie? It's believed by some writers to be an anagram. Et in Acadia ego. Indeed, to which Parisian church was Sonnier reportedly sent to have his manuscripts deciphered in the early 1890s? Saint Sulpice. Yes, at which historical state in Staffordshire is there a marble likeness of Nicolas Poussin's Le Berge d'Acadie? Yes, the authors of Holy Blood, Holy Grail hypothesizes that Jesus survived the crucifixion. They claim his life was saved by whom? Um, Mary Magdalene. Joseph of Arimathea, which bishop, successor to Bishop Biard of Cacassonne, launched a full-scale inquiry into Saunier's financial affairs? Beausejour. Yes, when Saunier supposedly defaced the Marie de Nair tombstone, he did not know the information on it had already been recorded by the Ode Society for which studies? Scientific studies. Scientific studies is absolutely right. You had no passes either, and you have 16 points as well. <laughs> so that's the end of a very high-scoring first round. Let's have a look at the scores. In joint third place, 15 points apiece, Richard Sturch and Andy Page. Joint first place, 16 points apiece, Nancy Dickman and David Edwards. So it's the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of the round, entirely likely at the moment, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the contender with the fewer passes is the winner. If they're tied on passes as well, well, then there's a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask Richard Sturch to join us again, if he would, please. And uh, as I say, you have 15 points with your knowledge of King Michael. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. What Norwegian word, meaning a sloping path or track, is used for a type of skiing race? Slalom. Yes, which is the largest seabird nesting in the British Isles. It's mainly white with black-tipped wings and a yellow head. Gannett. Yes, which Czech composer was head of the National Conservatory in New York from 1892 to 1895? Forshak. Yes, the political terms left or right wing originated in which country's National Assembly, where in 1798 commoners sat on the left and nobles on the right? France. Yes. What name is given to a triangle that has one interior angle greater than 90 degrees? Obtuse. Yes. During which natural phenomenon is it possible to see Bailey's beads and the more spectacular diamond ring effect? Solar eclipse. Yes. Which American boxer who won 36 of 40 professional fights came back from retirement for a final time in 1997 but lost against Hector Camacho? George Foreman. Sugar Ray Leonard. What's the collective name for the hammer, anvil and stirrup, the three small bones of the middle ear? Pass. Burundi shares a boundary with which other slightly smaller landlocked Central African country? Rwanda. Yes, in which classic of early English literature do the principal characters meet at an establishment run by Harry Bailey? Uh, Canterbury Tales. Yes, what names given to the juice of freshly pressed fruits such as grapes before or during fermentation into wine? Must. Yes, in which 60s television series was an international spy organisation run from behind Del Thoria's tailor shop in Manhattan? Pass. The Paris Peace Accord, signed in January 1973, marked the end of official American involvement in which war? Vietnam. Yes, the top of which Derbyshire Mountain is the highest point in the Peak District, a little over 2,000 feet? But. Susanna Gilpasso created an internationally renowned garden at La Mortella, her home on the island of Ischia. To which British composer was she married? Pass. Which former England player presented the football focus slot on Grandstand before becoming a presenter on Match of the Day? <laughs> Pass. Which celebrated illustrator of children's books was a leading cartoonist at Punch magazine till his retirement in 1901? Ernest Shepherd. No, John Tenniel. In Norse and Germanic mythology, what name is given to the race of dwarves whose hoard of gold was stolen by Prince Sigurd or Siegfried? Nibelungen. Indeed, you had five passes. Gary Lineker was the uh, English... It's always safe to say Gary Lineker in most of these cases. <laughs> William Walton was the uh, British composer I was looking for. Kinder Scouts, the top of that Derbyshire mountain, highest point in the Peak District. Uh, that 60s television series was The Man From Uncle. And those three little bones together are the ossicles in your ear.
You have a total now, Richard Search, of 26 points. <laughs> and now Andy Page again, please. And you also start out with 15 points with your knowledge of arrested development. 26 is the score to beat so far. General knowledge, two minutes starting now. In which city is the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building? Dubai. Yes, which middle name is shared by former Conservative Party leader William Hague and former American President Bill Clinton? Jefferson. Yes, what's the English title of Luc Jacquet's 2005 Oscar-winning documentary shot on location in the Antarctic? Um... Pass. Which publication was founded by Cambridge University students in 1889 and revived in 1979 as a literary quarterly under the editorship of Bill Buford? Granta. Yes, which is the most easterly country in the European Union? It's the only one of the member states located entirely east of the 30th meridian. Ukraine. Cyprus. Who scored the second goal for Arsenal against Liverpool at Anfield in 1989 that gave Arsenal the league championship title? Michael Thomas. Yes, which architect enlarged Buckingham Palace in the 1820s and designed the Marble Arch that originally stood in front of it? Nash. Yes, which classic 1960s television series was remade in 2000, starring Vickery's and Bob Mortimer with scripts by Charlie Higson? Randall and Hopkirk deceased. Yes, to someone worshipping in a mosque, what is Qibla, which is indicated by the mihrab and niche in a wall? Pass. Which Scottish city grew up around the 6th century Church of St Kentigan and has a cathedral with the saint's alternative name, St Mungo? Glasgow. Yes. Which mansion in Washington, D.C. hosted a meeting of world powers in 1944 that was an important step towards the founding of the United Nations? Brenton Woods. Dumbarton Oaks. What alternative name for deuterium oxide refers to the compound's molecular mass? Heavy water. Yes. Set in the village of Claregub, which play for voices, as its author described it, was first broadcast on the radio in 1954? Under Milt Yes. What was the name of the former KGB agent who died after being poisoned by an isotope of polonium in November 2006? Litvinov. Litvinenko. Which British group's best of compilation entitled Carry On Up the Charts was their first UK number one album of the 1990s? Beautiful South. Yes. Marduk was the chief god of which Mesopotamia? Mesopotamian Empire, established by the Amorite Hammurabi the Great on the banks of the Euphrates River. Babylonian. Yes, what name is given to a drink containing whiskey, crushed ice, sugar and sprigs of mint, especially popular in America? Pass. Which Islington theatre did Lillian Bayliss develop as a counterpart to the Old Vic in 1931? It became a home to opera and ballet companies. Saddle as well. Is correct. You had three passes. Mint julep is that very popular and quite refreshing drink. The Qibla in the mosque more or less tells you where Mecca is, so you know how to, where to direct your prayers. Uh, the English title of Luc Jacquet's Oscar-winning documentary shot in the Antarctica was March of the Penguins. You have, Andy Page, 27 points. It's close. Nancy Dickman now, please. And you start off with uh, 16 points with your knowledge of Amundsen. You have 27 to beat. Now, let's see if you can do it with your general knowledge. Starting now, what name is given to the naturally occurring gemstone variety of corundum that's dark red and transparent? Ruby. Yes, which MP for Buckingham was elected Speaker of the House of Commons on the 22nd of June 2009? Burko. Yes, which two-word term for contemporary French cookery became popular in Britain after it was used by the magazine Harper's and Queen in 1975? Nouvelle Cuisine. Yes, how many days of golf are played in each Ryder Cup tournament? Four. Three. Which city, historically regarded as the mother of all Russian cities, is no longer a part of Russia? Um, pass. Which 1988 film musical was remade in 2007 with John Travolta and Nicky Blonsky in the roles previously taken by Divine and Ricky Lake? Hairspray. Yes. What two-word term describes buying control of a business with money borrowed against the assets of that company? Um, hostile takeover. Leverage or leverage buyout. Which Egyptian diplomat was Secretary General of the United Nations from January 1992 to December 96? Boutros, Boutros Kali. Yes, which marine creature described as a living fossil is not a crustacean despite its name and is closely related to spiders and scorpions? Uh, Horseshoe Crab. In March 2010, who was named as Jonathan Ross's successor to present BBC One's film 2010? Mark Camone. Claudia Winkleman. Which poet whose early work includes The Wind Among the Reeds had a lifelong interest in the occult? Uh, pass. 
which painful inflammatory condition is commonly treated with the drug allopurinol, which reduces the levels of uric acid in the blood. Gout. Yes, what musical term, meaning sliding, describes a rapid uninterrupted scale of notes, such as that produced by running a finger across the strings of a harp. Glissando. Correct, which word for intrusive freelance photographers comes from the surname of the photo reporter played by Walter Santesso in the film La Dolce Vita? Paparazzi. Yes, in which form of religion practiced in the West Indies, particularly on Haiti, is a priestess called a mambo or a mamaloi? A voodoo. Yes, who was the joint winner of the 74 Booker Prize for her novel The Conservation later won the 91 Nobel Prize for Literature. Uh, yes, by it. Nadine Gordimer, taking its name from a region of southwestern France, which rich sauce is made from butter, egg yolks and vinegar and flavoured with tarragon and chervil? Bernays? Yes, what name was given to the legendary sea monster of gigantic size said to live off the coast of Norway, first described in 1752 by the Norwegian bishop Pontobidan? Kraken. Kraken is correct. Two passes. It was W.B. Yeats whose work included The Wind Among the Reeds, and that city, regarded as the mother of all Russian cities, no longer in Russia, is Kiev. You have 27 points. Thanks. And very close. Now, David Edwards again, please. And you start also with 16 points with your knowledge of uh, the mystery of Rennes le Chateau and 27 is still the score to beat. Here we go, general knowledge, two minutes. In 1973, which country's Supreme Court ruled in the landmark case on abortion of Roe versus Wade? Pass. In 1719, which German-born composer was appointed as the master of the orchestra of London's original but short-lived Royal Academy of Music? Handel. Yes, whom did Nick Clegg narrowly defeat in the contest to succeed Sir Ming Campbell as leader of the Liberal Democrats in 2007? Whom? Yes, which horse made history in 2009 when it became the first to win the 2000 Guineas, Epsom Derby and Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe? Uh, pass. A comment made by Kaiser Wilhelm II about the British Expeditionary Force in 1914 led to its members adopting what nickname? Oh, contemptibles, old contemptibles. Yes, to play the king and the final cut was sequels to which 1990 television drama series adapted from a political novel by Michael Dobbs? Um, House of Cards. Yes, the scientific name for the Northern Lights is the Aurora Borealis. What is the equivalent name for the Southern Lights? Aurora Australis. Correct. In cricket, what term is used to describe a tail-end batsman sent in further up the order if a senior batsman's out shortly before close of play? Night Watchman. Yes, which English poet became secretary to the Lord Deputy of Ireland in 1580, a year after he published his first book of poems, The Shepherd's Calendar? Uh, done. Spencer, which fish became affectionately known in British fishing communities as silver darlings? Herring. Yeah, who was the Roman god of boundary markers? Uh, Janus. Terminus, the name of which historic region of Germany has given a series of treaties signed in 1648 that were negotiated to parallel conferences in Münster and Osnabrück? Westphalia. Yes, which contemporary American travel writer and novelist works include the old Patagonian Express and the Mosquito Coast? Uh, Theroux? No. Yes, Paul Theroux. At which site near Macclesfield in Cheshire is the observatory formerly known as Manchester University's Nuffield Radio Astronomy Laboratory? Jodrell Bank. Yes, who was Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer during the 1926 general strike? Uh, Baldwin. Churchill, which 75 film is based on a novel by Ken Kesey and was shot on location at the Oregon State Mental Hospital in Salem? Uh, once flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yes, which Swedish city has direct rail and road connections with Copenhagen by the Odersund link? Um... Gothenburg. Malmo, what is both the Gallic name for Scotland and a former kingdom in Scotland? <sighs> Alba. Yes. You had two passes. The horse that made history was called See the Stars. And the very first question, it was in the United States, where Roe versus Wade was a celebrated case. You have 28 points. Well, it, uh, it really doesn't get closer than that. Let's have a look at those scores. In fourth place, with 26 points, Richard Sturch. Third place, 27 points and seven passes, Andy Page. Second place, 27 points and two passes, Nancy Dickman. First place with 28 points, David Edwards.
Which means that David Edwards is tonight's winner. Congratulations to him. Commiserations to all our former champions. It has been nice to see them again and uh, relive some of those great moments. If you would like to play an online version of Mastermind or indeed to be a contender on The Real Thing in the next series, then do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and do join us next time for more Champion of Champions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And John is back tomorrow with more past winners. That's at 7.30. Coast crosses the channel next, exploring the French Land's End, Finisterre and the Celtic influences in Brittany. Then BBC Two's Braced for an Invasion, 10.66 and all that as Professor Robert Bartlett introduces the Normans, a major new series in an hour.